During this video, we will demonstrate the use of the CMC SE program from Brooker to elucidate the structure of a small molecule. As an example molecule, we will use the um, pharmaceutical ibuprofen. We will demonstrate the NMR measurement and the data analysis. After launching Topspin, we start Icon NMR and uh, launch the automation window. After selecting a holder position, we type in the dataset name. We choose an experiment number, in this case it is 1, the solvent in which the molecule is dissolved, in this case it is uh, DMSO, deuterated DMSO. And then we choose an experiment. So the first one would be CMC SE proton. Then we add other experiments that we want to run. For this example, we want to run um, five experiments. This is a CMCSE carbon 13, a CMCSE COSI, we will add an HSTC and an HMBC. The CMCSE program comes with dedicated data sets that can be used to measure the data. And we're then setting up the samples. We can start the measurement by clicking on start. Then we move on to Topspin, where we can start analyzing our data. Back in Topspin, we open the 1D proton spectrum of our compound and then start the structure elucidation program, CMCSE, from the Topspin menu. A window will open that will show the projects and now we can set up a new project um, in this case, we will call it ibuprofen. We can see on the bottom the experiments that we have run on this uh, molecule and we will have to provide the um, some formula for ibuprofen. Which comes from elemental analysis. After clicking on OK, the CMCSE window will open and we can start the automatic analysis of our NMR spectra. Here we can choose which additional experiments should be analyzed. Here we have uh, additionally carbon 13 and the COSI spectrum, and now the automatic analysis has been started. When the automatic analysis of the NMR spectra is finished, a CMC data analysis report will be shown in PDF format. It shows the analyzed spectra. It shows if solvent signals have been found. And most importantly, on the second page, it will show the proton distribution plot which correlates the protein integrals to the number of assigned protons. This plot should be linear if the analysis is consistent. In the next step, we will organize our desktop workspace by clicking on View and then Arrange Frames. So here we can um, have on the right-hand side the top spin window with our spectra display and on the left-hand side the CMCSE window with the correlation tables. We can manually adjust the size of the two windows. In the following we will manually inspect the um, automatic uh, NMR spectra analysis. We can zoom into a region of interest first. By clicking on S only the HSQC spectrum will be shown. Clicking on a peak will automatically highlight the connection in the correlation table and vice versa. Clicking on M will show the HMBC spectrum only. Here we can again click on peaks and those will be highlighted in the correlation table. Um, a click on S and M will show the HSQC and the HMBC in overlay. Here, for example, we check the correlation between C6 and C10. Next we move to C8 and we observe 
in the Cauchy spectrum a cross peak between the protons connected to C8 and to C9. We can scale up the 1D proton spectrum to identify the multiplet structure. Lastly, we move back to the HSQC HMBC overlay view to identify a HMBC cross peak between C8 and C9 and also the HSQC cross peak for C9. In summary, we can employ CMCSE for the efficient analysis of different spectra types. Next, we will use the automatic structure generation module implemented in CMCSE to generate structure proposals by using the spectral data. We now see the structure generation control dialog in which we can define computational resources and additional constraints, for instance, known substructures or ring systems. And lastly, the correlations from the spectra that should be used for the structure generation. For this video, we chose a simple molecule for which only one matching structure is proposed. Now, we visually inspect the generated structure proposal. When selecting a cross peak in the spectrum, the respective correlation is shown on the structure and highlighted in the correlation table. Now we switch to the HSQC HMBC view. Also here we can select cross peaks and the respective correlations are shown on the structure. When selecting a correlation in the correlation table, CMCSE automatically zooms onto the respective cross peak in the spectrum. When selecting a atom on the structure, all observed correlations are shown and highlighted in the correlation table. At the end, we generate a structure elucidation report containing all relevant spectroscopic and structural information. On the first page, the structure proposal is shown together with chemical identifiers. On page 2, the table with chemical shift assignments is shown. On the following pages, annotated 1D proton and carbon spectra are displayed, followed by a page showing all observed correlations plotted on the structure. The last page shows a correlation between experimental and predicted chemical shifts for proton and carbons. The linearity of this dependency is a good measure for the quality of the structure proposal. We have now finished our analysis and wanted to thank you for watching this video and for your interest in CMC SE. Please visit our website for more information about the CMC software suite.